Hey, I'm Matt from Stronger You, and this is Zandi. Today we're going to be going through some bench press coaching with her. Uh, Zandi, tell me a bit. Of Tell me a little bit about your bench. What are you What are you working on with it right now? Um, I have plateaued a little bit with okay. my bench, sure. um, and it's been a long plateau. It feels like I was, you know, pretty steadily gaining, um, and then have been just stuck at 155 as my as my one rep max for, goodness, probably about eight months now. And okay. all of my other lifts have gone up significantly. Sure. Um, so, I feel like there's just something not quite right with maybe my setup or my form or my technique that okay. I would love to figure okay. out. Right on. And then you've also mentioned you've got some like instability dislocated yes. a shoulder as well, right? Yeah, so I, I subluxated my right shoulder uh, in June. Okay. So um, there was a little bit of instability with that uh, that I'm still kind of working through. It's been mostly okay for the past few months, but okay. um, yeah. Yeah, and it's mostly like overhead movements that tend yes. to bother you. Benching itself is fine, mm -hmm. and you didn't dislocate at benching either. No, I did okay. not. Cool. Um, all right, so let's take a look at your bench press. We'll go empty bar to start. We'll just get warmed up, okay. and we'll see kind of how everything looks, see if there's anything that, that stands out here, okay? okay? Just give her. So you can see looking at Sandy's bench that her right elbow really over tucks, and the bar sits a little slanted. It doesn't run quite level to the ground. We'll get into some ways to fix this in a sec. Are you okay going like up to 125 for today? Or? Um, sure. If, if Let's we, try if, it. If, see how. Okay, we'll keep the we rep like, pretty keep low. Keep it at like doubles or something. Yeah, doubles are fine with me. Okay. We're not gonna do tens. Thank God. Yeah. Yeah, tens yeah, at tens out of nowhere is just <laughs> it's a different kind of cruel. <laughs> yeah. It's not okay. It was not okay. No, it's not. <laughs> Anything over five is like it's cardio. Yes, it, it's cardio. Yeah. Yeah. These are just the facts. Yeah. Um, so it was like two or three, good? Two. Two is fine. Uh, how'd that feel? Felt okay. Cool. Yeah. Um, and everything feels pretty technically sound for you there? More or less. Okay. But it just kind of feels like the way I always do it. So. Okay. Like it's like a normal, like your baseline bench press. Yeah. Fine. Okay. Cool. Um, so. We'll go over kind of what I'm seeing in a second. I don't want to bias you too much, but we'll okay. go through some different warm-ups and stuff, see, or different drills for technique, see if it changes for you, get you back under the bar, retest, see if it feels better or worse, okay. or the same, and uh, we'll make some calls from there, okay? Sounds good. So uh, what I want you to do is you're going to set yourself up, hands and knees here, mm -hmm. okay? And you're going to go with an underhand grip. You want your fingertips pretty close to your knee. Okay. And your hips are going to stay pretty centered. You don't want to shift over or twist around anything. Okay? okay. So I'm set up like so. My right hand is just overhand. And you're going to find a position where you don't feel too much of a stretch here. Mm -hmm. So you're going to have to rock forward a little bit. Okay. From there, you're going to depress your left shoulder blade. Okay. And get up as tall as you can until this hand comes off the ground. Okay. Okay. From here, you're just thinking about breathing out until your abs cramp up a little bit and then breathing in nice and gentle. So it'll look something like this for a couple breaths. All right, so pretty long drawn out exhale. This is really gonna tighten up on you and really be deliberate with actually having the scap depressed. You don't wanna just shimmy your butt instead of moving your shoulder blade. Okay. okay. All right, let's give it a go. Okay. Yeah, great. And that's okay on the left wrist there? Yep. Okay, perfect. So from there, pushing hard with your left hand until your right comes off the ground. Perfect. Okay. And then get your left shoulder blade away from your ear. So you're going to like depress your scap, tighten up your lats, right? Okay. Big long exhales. We'll end up going through a total of 20 breaths with this, but you can cluster it into sets of five if you want, or go for the straight 20 if you're feeling good, okay? Andy, is it feeling okay? Mm -hmm. And you got like Learning. a little stretch in your uh, in your lat as well there, eh? Mm -hmm. Cool. Oh yeah, this is way better. It doesn't feel better. <laughs> no, it's, it's gonna feel like you're you know you're drinking the medicine here a little. Okay. But the position is way better. You were bringing your hips over a little initially, and you're mm -hmm. more centered here. Okay. Because you see how like hips are centered over the knees, and then her thorax is over to the left, right? Surprising amount of work for what it is, eh? Absolutely, I'm kind of like, sweaty. Lots of abs, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Good stuff. Okay, get you back into the bar. Okay. If you need a second to shake it out, that's fine. Another two or three reps with 125, and okay. go from there, okay?
as you can see in the bottom image after we've gone through the correctives, Zandi's right elbow sits in a much more neutral, relaxed position that's in line with the bar. Additionally, the bar runs parallel to the ground as opposed to a feel? slight angle. Uh, as it felt better. See if you can tell against the blue more lines. Solid. Okay. Like yeah. nothing in particular you could pick out is just better overall, right? Yeah. Yeah. Great. That's that's what you're looking for. So good movement's always going to be reflective, right? So if you're a little crooked, to, you're walking in, and your gravity is going to be pulling straight up and down like everybody else, mm -hmm. right? So if you're laying flat on your back, but you're a little rotated, yeah. you're kind of bench pressing this way, right? Right. And same thing the other way, right? So when you have that asymmetrical kind of problem we're working on, we want to give you asymm asymmetry the other way, basically. Mm -hmm. So what I was seeing when you were benching is your rib cage naturally sets a little rotated to the right. Okay. And the way that you compensate around that is you really pull your left shoulder back, mm. right? And so it does get your rib cage to sit more even once mm -hmm. the bar is in your hands, but the bar sits a little lower on your left. Okay. And so it makes you over tuck on your right, yep. which is where you can get that little bit of instability. Now that I like I think about it, I feel it. <laughs> yeah, exactly, right? You can kind of visualize that, yeah, yeah. that sensation, right? So that instability on the right is actually a left shoulder problem for you, okay. right? So we get you to be able to push on the left side a little more and bring the rib cage over to the left. Mm -hmm. And now this right shoulder's got a really good platform to sit on mm -hmm. instead of being jammed up. Right. Right, so I can sit there and naturally your elbow can track a little bit better and it feels just sort of that better but indescribably so yes, in your absolutely. bench press. And that's what's gonna feel better for your heavier benches because you've got a stable platform to work from instead of working on you know the slanted floor, so to speak, right? Cool. That's it, so I'll give those a shot on your heavy benches, see how that feels, right? Maybe it leaves us in PRs, maybe at the very least it just at least you're feeling a little more comfortable with those heavy weights and just feeling more stable. Awesome. And that's it. Thanks a lot. Thank you. All right. All right. Like the information you're seeing, but not sure how to apply it to your own training. My name is Matt Taylor, and I'm the head coach and founder at Stronger You Personal Training. I've been coaching powerlifting since 2014 and competing in it myself since 2009. All of my lifters have either taken medals on the platform at the competitions they've competed at, gotten over an injury that's been preventing them from training properly, hit PRs in their training, so they're getting personal records and getting stronger over time, or some combination of those three points. If you're interested in getting in touch with me for some coaching inquiries, you can send me a DM on Instagram or Facebook, or an email from matt at strongerupt.com. I'll leave a link to also get in touch with me on the Instagram bio and below in the YouTube description. Thanks, and I'll talk to you soon.